Kingdom. Greetings and salutations, and welcome to Craft Kingdom. Today we'll be creating a tiny puppet on a long wire from a clothespin, some felt, and a piece of stem wire. You'll be planning, dry fitting, and then using glue to put these puppets together. What will you need to decorate your puppet? Stem wire, felt, googly eyes, pom-poms, pipe cleaners, white glue, and markers. These simple puppets can be great fun to create and use, but you have to make a method of control. We'll be using stem wire either wrapped around the body of the puppet or taped to its back. Before we create and design the puppet, we are going to design our control. The peg puppets can have a wire wrapped around their neck, which may be hard to hide, or taped to the back of the puppet. Using masking tape to connect the stem wire to the puppet is simple. You bend about an inch and a half at a 90 degree angle, like the corner of a square, and tape this bent piece to the puppet's back with masking tape. The tape will not stop the puppet from rotating, but once you get used to it, this can be an advantage. Clothespins have an indent that's a great spot for wrapping the stem wire around once and twisting it. After the twist to hold it in place, bend the wire so it goes up the puppet's back a bit. This will give you greater control. Curl the handle of each wire into a circle to you can grip and control. Once you have the wire in place, take a break from puppet building and draw your puppet design. When you begin to create a puppet, drawing your design gives you time to think about the important details of your puppet. Who is this puppet? What is their job in the story? Here we can see our designer is making a simple outline first, then writing down a puppet's name and a few details about the puppet. Now the designer is adding some detail to help guide the puppet build. You can think about materials you have and plan for what you're going to use, but don't let your materials guide your plan completely. Dream big! Half of the fun of puppet building is discovering how to do excellent things with simple stuff. What do you think of that design? Let's get ready to make it real. Step 1. Cut out anything you're making with felt. I like to make the clothing and props for this type of puppet from felt. A pair of large ears, a suitcase, a simple dress. Each of these can be great for a small puppet. Don't make them too fancy, but be sure there is at least one important detail. These puppets are small, so focus on big details. If you're making a construction worker, include the hard hat. Start with the face. You might glue very small googly eyes in place, or you might decide that these puppets are so small, you need to just draw their features on with a marker. If you make a mistake on your face, turn the puppet over and make the old face the back of the head and use hair to cover it up. Next, place the hair. Cut felt or pom-poms work well for hair. After you glue the hair in place, let it dry for at least 30 minutes. You might want to tape it down with masking tape while it dries. After the face and the hair, it's time to dress your puppet. You can use felt or colored paper to craft simple clothes for these puppets. Working this small doesn't leave much room for details. If you want to decorate the clothing, glue details on first. Let that work dry before attaching it to the puppet. Remember that downtime is frown time. What can you do while you're waiting? 
Maybe you can paint a background for your show. Have you designed the puppet theater yet? Thanks for crafting with us, and we'll see you soon in... Craft Kingdom. Craft Kingdom.